Hello and welcome to the Junos PyEZ Junos Shell Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After completing this learning byte, you will be able to use the Junos PyEZ Start Shell module to issue Junos CLI operational mode commands. Let's start by learning a little bit about what Junos PyEZ is. Junos PyEZ is a free Python library provided by Juniper Networks that enables you to automate the management of Junos devices using Python. It provides similar capabilities to the Junos CLI. You can use Junos PyEZ to execute Junos operational mode commands, and that's the focus of this learning byte, but you can also leverage Junos PyEZ to manage device configuration, perform software upgrades, reboot devices, without needing to have extensive Junos or Junos CLI knowledge. A great resource that I've used to learn Junos PyEZ is the free Junos PyEZ Developer's Guide available on Juniper's website. The Junos PyEZ library is a collection of Python modules. Some of the modules, such as the utils module, contain additional sub-modules with additional object classes. As part of the utils module, there's a sub-module that deals with managing Junos configuration, there's a sub-module responsible for managing the Junos file system. There are a couple of sub-modules, the FTP and SCP sub-modules, that are capable of transferring files to or from Junos platforms. There's a software utility or module that is used to perform Junos software operations and also functions such as reboots and powering off Junos platforms. In this learning byte, we're going to focus on the Start Shell Junos PyEasy module that allows a connection to be established to a Junos device and you can then issue shell commands. It supports issuing Unix shell commands. Remember Junos, if you're not familiar with Junos, it has Unix foundations. There's a Unix shell uh, available and we can use the start shell utility to issue Unix shell commands or Junos CLI commands. And that again, that will be the focus of this learning byte. Here's an example Python script that leverages Junos PyEZ. I've given it a name, junoshell.py, and we'll begin looking at the script just by looking at what Python modules are being imported into the script. And, and, and the first one I want you to understand is this is Junos PyEZ. This is how it's identified in the Python interpreter or in uh, Python script. From the Junos PyEZ, jnpr.junos, library, I want to import a device object. This is the device object class, and this represents a Junos device. And then I also want to import from the Junos PyEZ library, from the utils module, the, the start shell submodule, start shell object class. This is what's going to allow me to issue shell commands on a Junos device. I'm going to declare a couple of variables. I want the dev variable to represent a device object uh, representing this target host. So you'll be able to modify this to match a device in your environment. And I want the SS variable to represent a, a start shell object associated with this target device. Now I want to open the connection. So I SS, I want to use the start shell open method that will actually you know, establish a shell connection with the target device. And I have another variable declared, and again, this is a variable, you can modify it, but it's uptime. And I want to use the start shell run method to execute or issue this Juno CLI command. And so this is the structure. The example I have is simply issuing a Juno CLI show system uptime command. Then I, I want to print the output of that. I'm just going to use a standard Python print library, uh, and so I want to print the results of this CLI command. The retrieved data, the retrieved output from the Genos device is actually a tuple. There's a, a true or false is the first entry in the retrieved data, whether or not the command was successfully run. And then it's followed by the, the data and it's indexed starting from zero. So I, wanna, I don't wanna see the true or false portion of that output. I wanna see the, you know, the second part of that output, which is the actual Juno CLI output. And then I, I wanna follow good principles and go ahead and close the connection. And so it's a very simple script, and the Junos PyEZ library and modules are what handle all of the processing you know, and do all the work. So I'm going to show you what you'd see when the script is run. 
This is I'm using Python 3 for these examples, but they will work just as well in, in Python 2. This is a, a CentOS desktop that has the Junos PyEZ libraries installed. And so I'm going to run Python 3 and then simply the name of the script. You'll see the actual CLI command that was run or issued by the script. Uh, and, and here's the actual output. So what I'd like to do now, I want to connect to a device and we'll take a look at the script and we'll look at some options and run it and see some output. All right, this is my CentOS workstation. It has Juno's PyEZ installed. And the first thing I want to do, let's just take one more look at the script. Here it is. We're importing the device object, the, the start shell object class, our variables, and the CLI command we want to run. So let's run it. And here's the output that we saw previously. So coding, very simple, very small, light script. And what we can do if you'd like to see some more is we can, uh, we can edit it. So if I wanted to change, for example, the, the target device or I wanted to change the actual CLI command that I issued, let's run a show interfaces and let's take a look at the management interface. So FXP0. And this is a, a virtual MX platform, is the Genos platform we're using, uh, we're automating using these Python scripts. And so let's run it again. See if we get some different output. And so this is the show interfaces output for the management interface on that VMX platform. And so you can view the results. So the script example, if, if you want to use this as an example, it's very easy to then go back in and modify and issue different operational mode commands. In this learning by, we use the Junos PyEZ start shell module to issue Junos CLI operational mode commands. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.